All right, folks, Hunter Bob here. <laughs> So Ben, what have we witnessed today? Taco Bell. All right, so today I'm going to tear apart this vacuum, find the motor in it, um, and the I guess the fan that creates the suction, and try to build a blower out of it. So I'm not going to show you tearing into the vacuum. That's pretty. Uh, Self-explanatory and all vacuums are different, so I'm just going to take the whole thing apart, find the motor, and build a blower. Uh, I've already made sure that it works, and I think the suction is just strong enough to make uh, for what I need for my gasifier. So stay tuned, and thanks for watching. All right, so that's what's left of the vacuum. And then over here is the pile of good stuff. I have my motor and the shroud that was on it. And conveniently, whoever designed this was very nice and made this shroud fit perfectly on top of that. Um, I mean, it came on there. That shroud was already on there. I just took it off so I could modify it a little bit to make it work for my gasifier. Um, all this did was create suction. There's no holes in the back of this plate right here. No holes at all. I know it looks like there are, but there's a plate right here that uh, blocks all of them. Once, uh, once the shroud is on. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shroud. I've already cut a hole in it for the air to blow out of. Um, it'll get suctioned through the center hole right there. So I saved all the wire. And uh, that way I can maybe take that switch off there and put my dimmer switch on there uh, whenever I'm ready. And what I'm doing now is taking this right here. I've polished it up a little bit. got the coating off of there so I can weld on it. It's really thin steel, so I'm going to be careful. And I'm going to take this piece of uh, pipe right here and weld it on just like that. That way I can stick that on my gasifier and uh, the suction will suck through there and then blow out there. All right, so I've welded the pipe on to right there for the where the suction is going to be coming in. And I've welded on, I believe, at the wrong angle now the output pipe, but we'll see how it does. Um, so all I gotta do is snap this thing onto the front of my motor like this. I had to very gently spot weld this. Very gently. On the underside, as you can see, most, I never burned through it, but most of the welds came really close, so I had to weld down, or grind them down a little bit where they kind of, uh, bulged out but that means I got good penetration at least um, and it probably won't crack unless the whole shroud rips apart so that's good uh, I ground them down because this is a very tight tolerance to the front of my um, my uh, fan right there so I don't want to rub it against the fan all right well anyway enough talking I'm gonna snap that onto the front of there and then test it out see how it works and then I'll be using it with my gasifier so Stick around for the test, and thanks for watching. Alright guys, there it is. I've just put the shroud on the top there and smashed down these little things on the edges. And believe it or not, uh, this is made of steel, so it's it's pretty tight on there. Um, I was having a little bit of trouble moving this. Um, the fan inside of there, so I sprayed some WD-40 in there, and it freed it up a little bit. I'm hoping that it just kind of, uh, this is, I know this is not right, but kind of, wears it just kind of wears it in um uh let's see so i guess the only thing left for me to do is probably chuck that up in the vise and plug it in and see if it works so I'll skip to that right now all right so as you can see i have the blower chucked up in the vise um i have this bag on here so you can see if there's like wind being produced it'll stick out like that or something um so once again the suction will come in right there and blow out right there and hopefully build a bag and you'll be able to see it working. I have my line all the way over here and I think I have the switch turned on so I'm just gonna plug this in and then if something bad happens then I'll just unplug it from the wall really quick. So 
Here we go. It worked. All right, let's do it again. All right. So it's super loud, and it's probably because it's scraping against something, um, and because it's not inside the vacuum cleaner. So, so like WD-40. I'm going to take this out and go for it. So there it is. Um, it was pretty strong. I'd say it's probably just strong enough for my gasifier. So that's pretty nice because I won't have to add the dimmer switch on there. I can just plug it right in like it is and hope it doesn't burn out. So that said, if you want to see more videos like this, comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.